So here comes some more math, everybody. If we have two pieces and we know the total has to be four and we have to split it into two equal pieces, how many beats is each half note going to get? Steve? Two. Two. What's two plus two, Steve? Four. Four. That's right. And we have to have, everybody? Four. Four. All right. All right. So, whoops. I almost wrote the wrong number. We could write two down there, two beats to remind us. So, if I were going to clap out each beat, I would have to do it in two sections this time, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, did you hear how I made that have two different sections? Yeah. Okay, take those red pieces. How many of them does it take to fill your white square, to fill the hole? Elijah? Four. That's right, we're going to need four different pieces to cover the hole square. Okay, and we already talked about this. When we split something into fours, we're going to call that a quartered note. So let's take our pens and pencils and make sure that we get a quarter note on each piece of red paper. We do that by a circle, a solid circle this time, and a line. So go ahead and do that on each red quarter. And as we already talked about it before, the quarter note gets how many beats? I have four different sections, right? That's all I need is four. Now, let's get a little bit tricky. Let's take those blue pieces of paper and cover up that white square. And think about this. How many pieces does it take to cover it up? Steve, how many pieces? Eight. Eight. So if I were to give that a fraction name, what would I call it? Four eighths. Four eighths. You gave me the name, which is eighths. We call that eighths, right? So we give that same name to the note. It's an eighth note, okay? So let's go ahead and draw an eighth note on each blue section of paper. which is a solid circle, a line, and then we draw a little flag coming off the top of that line. So go ahead and do that on all eight pieces. I want everybody to tell me what do we call this note? And everybody. Eighth, eighth note. note. Eighth note. Eighth note. That's right. Now here's the problem. We can only have how many in each measure? Everybody? Four. Four. Four beats. But I just split it into eight sections, right? And that's more than four. So there's a special way to count that. Do you know? Is it Alexis? Eight take away four. Eight take away four. Well, if we could take away four of them, that might work. But we're going to do a little trick. In music, we add the word and. Okay? So in order to fit it in so that we have little tiny sec eight tiny sections in that one measure of music, we would say one and two and three and four and. Did you see how I made it faster so I could fit it into that same amount of time? Are you guys ready to clap that with me? Yeah. Yes. I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, and then we're all going to clap that together. Sit up nice and tall. Get your hands ready. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. I want to go back and clap out some more of them. So let's try clapping out the quarter notes. Now let's go back again. How many beats does each quarter note get, everybody? One. 
One. One. That's right. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exactly. What if we were to clap out the half notes? How many of those do we have per measure? Look at your yellow pieces. Count them. Alexis? Two. Two. So how many claps are we going to do, everybody? Two. two. Oh, you are so smart. Well, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now, the whole note takes up the whole measure, and we know we have to have four beats per measure. So how many beats does that whole note get? Everybody? Four. So how many claps are we going to do, everyone? Four. Four? four. One. That's, that's right. Those of you that are saying one, that's right. So this one sounds like this. One, two, three, four. The sound lasts four beats. Let's try that. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is flip that yellow square over. We are going to take a look at something called a rest. What do you think a rest is? What does it sound like? It sounds like nothing. That's actually right. When we have a rest in music, we have absolutely no sound. We have nothing. Okay? Why do you think a musician would do that? Steve? Because they do that to make the, um, s um, the music sound nicer. Sometimes it might sound nicer. Sure. It sounds different, definitely, right? It's just something you can use. What if they need a quick break to take a breath? So a rest, when you look at this one, a whole rest, and I'm going to draw five lines on here to look like the staff so that I'm going to take this one off so that I can remind myself what it looks like. So go ahead and draw five lines. Count them. Make sure you have five because the staff has five lines. And using your white pieces of paper with all the notes and rests on them, you're going to draw the rest. Now, if you notice, it's on the bottom side of the line. And we have a whole rest. So the rest tell us for how long we're going to make no sound. Just like Steve told us, it's when you make no sound. Well, how long are we going to take a rest? Well, with a whole note, we had a note that lasted four beats. So how long do you think the whole rest is going to last? Everybody. Four seconds. Four seconds, four beats. That's right. So if we were to clap that out, how many claps would we have? None, right? So if we were to do this particular one, I would say one, two, three, four, and we'd all... For four seconds, we would be absolutely quiet. We know the quarter note gets one beat. So how long do we rest when we have a quarter rest? For how many beats, everybody? One. 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 That's right, for one beat. So I could say one, two, three, four, and we would rest for one beat, right? We would count one in our head. 